Jank Odo moment. Wait a minute. You're the champion? After all this time, Cynthia was the champion. Who would have thought that one that Cynthia was the champion after all this time? While well, she says one look at you tells me many things about you. Together you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it from you. That's enough talking, let's get this let's get on with why you're here. You're here. I, Cynthia, accept your challenge as the Pokemon League champion. There won't be any let up from me. Or there won't be any let up from me. Awesome intro. It's epic. I love the battle music just like I did with Steven's champion battle music back in Ruby and Sapphire. This music is epic. It's epic champion music. She starts off with a spear team that has no weaknesses. Oh goody goody goody. Okay, spear team is level 61 dark ghost type with the moves Dark Pulse, Psychic, and Bargo and Silverwind. Silverwind, I don't have to worry about, that's my least of my worries since it's a bug type and it's not very effective. So I'm gonna start off with Thunderbolt and Bargo for at least 5 turns, I believe. I can't use any healing items whatsoever. Psychic, I really have to watch out for because it's super effective on me. Same with Dark Pulse, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, the only way you can land a hit on this thing is if you, um, uh, is if you, um, use Foresight and then use a Fighting type mode. Because Foresight will get rid of that Ghost type part of it, so it's only Dark type then. Then, um, Fighting type moves can just go in there and just, like, annihilate it. Okay, thank goodness for using Embargo. I don't need a heal. I'm not using healing items in this battle, sadly enough. So, you know. Yes, it's down for the count. Thank goodness it didn't use Silverwind, a Psychic, or a Dark Balls. Either one of those moves would have killed me. And I would have not been a happy camper. My Lodic. Okay. Now in my test run, I used Wooden Hammer when it used Ice Beam and I was down to a sliver of health when I killed myself, therefore I got no experience from Smile Pixel. I'm hoping it won't happen again. Okay, my left trick is a level 63 water type with the moves Mirror Coat, Surf, Ice Beam, and Aqua Wing. Aqua Wing is a horrible move, it only restores a little bit of health after each turn it has on it or whatever. After each turn of, yeah, after each of its turns, let's go with that. Um, Ice, good thing I was quicker than that. Ice Beam I really have to watch out for since I'm four times a week against it. Surf, you know, I really have to watch out for that too because it's really powerful. A mirror coat reflects any special um, attacking moves. So I only use physical attacking moves if you feel confident it's gonna use mirror coat. But I got rid of that with no sweat, so that's good. Gastrodon. Like I'm gonna switch, I mean Gastrodon's four times weak against ground type Pokemon. Okay, Gastrodon is level 60 water ground type with a mix Stone Edge, Muddy Water, Sludge Bomb, and Earthquake. Earthquake, I think I don't really have to watch out for that. I'm gonna use another wooden hammer. Yeah, I'm gonna use a wooden hammer just to get a one hit kill on this thing. I'm um, Stone Edge, I don't really have to worry about that since it's rock and I'm ground, you know. They don't mix, you know. It's not very effective against me. Um, Muddy Water, I, really, I don't really have to watch out for that either. And Sludge Bomb can poison me. I have a chance of poisoning me. Yeah. I don't get why she has two water types, though. That's what I don't get. Okay, Garchomp, the big, bad Garchomp. I'm gonna switch to see right here. Okay, Garchomp is level 66. Um, Dragon Ground type, it can Dragon Rush, Earthquake, Giga Impact, and Brick Break. B Brick Break is probably my least worries, because it's, you know, fighting type. I guess I have to really watch out for that. Dragon Rush I have to watch out for, since, you know, it's a Dragon type move. I'm gonna use Ice Beam since it's four times effective. Weak against Ice, I should say. Um, Earthquake, I kind of have to wait, watch out for, let's see how much I have to watch out for right here. Yeah, I have to watch out for that. Did I have? 
Um, and then Giga Impact, I really have to watch out for, since, you know, it's like hyper being like, that Metagross had that thing in my, um, Swampert, which really made me mad. That can be in Sapphire, so I have to watch out for that. Because it's really powerful, but, it has to must recharge after its next turn, just like hyper Beam. And it does have its Citrus Bear. So let's just go and take this thing down. Go. Oh, crud. Crap. No. Yes! I survived! I thought I was gonna die because of my test run. It used Earthquake. And then it used Dragon Rush and I died. But this time I survived. So take that, Garchomp. Take that. Yeah. Yeah, I get over 3,000 experience points, which is really nice. Okay, of course it's gonna use its her grass type now, since, you know, I'm four times weak against it, but not if I use Flame Ball. Okay, her Rose Raid is level 60 grass poison type, with moves extra sensory, energy ball, shadow ball, and sludge bomb. Sludge bomb can have a chance on poisoning me, I don't really have to watch out for that. Um, shadow ball, you know, I guess I have to watch out for that. I can love my special defense style too. I'm gonna use Flare Blitz, just get a one hit KO on this thing. Um, Energy Ball, you know, it's a grass type move, I don't really have to watch out for that. And then Extra Sensory is a Psychic type move, I don't really have to watch out for that either. So, in my opinion, the Rose Raid, no, the Gas Divine is the weakest than the Rose Raid is, so, you know. One hit KO, that's nice. It's really nice to get a one hit KO. Lucario. Um, I'll keep battling since you know it's the last Pokemon. Lucario is a um, level 63 fighting steel type with the moves Dragon Pulse, Earthquake, Psychic, and Forest Fear. Forest Fear I will have to watch out for since it's a really powerful um, fighting type move. I'm gonna use Flare Blitz again to get one hit on this thing. It's weak against, um, it's very weak against fire types, so that's why I kept Flame Ball out. Um, Psychic, I don't, I guess I have to worry about that, because it was my special defense. Um, Earthquake, I really have to watch out for since it's ground type. And Dragon Pulse, again, I kind of have to watch out for that. Judging by how Garchomp did on my, um, Gastrodon, or see what I should say. But other than that, we are done. And that is Cynthia. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful trainer. And now you've just become the most powerful of the trainers. You are the newest champion. Yeah, get that. It would have been doubled though.